The boys and the dukes are ready to rumble. The word on the street, some heads are going to tumble. Blades will flash, and the gang is going to clash on the avenues at night when the lightning strikes because bass fishing royalty is among us this evening here in the Stray Cast studio. We have coming up first the champion. I'm so excited about this. I got to get it out of the way immediately. Mm -hmm. The champion, the king of FLW, Clint Davis, coming on first. <laughs> Woo! Yes. Yes. That's how we do it. Then, more bass fishing royalty coming to us uh, from California. IA. Yes, sir. Sir Cody Meyer coming on board. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. I hear you. I do. I do. I'm your host, Pat Renwick. It's Wednesday night. You know what that means. It's time for the glorified version of a bass fishing talk show, Stray Cast Outdoor Cartoon Television. We are fresh. Uh, after it's Red a, Wednesday. It's Red Wednesday. Yes. R red on the head like the beard on uh, your face and Andy's head. That's how that goes. Yes, exactly. Exactly how that goes. We are back from our sabbatical to our Kansas from the Forest Wood Cup. Thank you so much to the entire FLW organization uh, for the hospitality that they showed to us, the crew of Stray Cass. And when they say that FLW treats you like a family, there's no bullshit. They Absolutely. treat they treat you like a family, and it's amazing. We didn't even feel like the um the bad cousin table at the wedding. No. You know, it was actually a real deal. Thank you so much, uh, Joe Opager and the entire crew at FLW for bringing us down there. We had an amazing time at the Forest Wood Cup. All kinds of shenanigans went on down there. You should have seen Ryan. You should have seen the the cop the costume that he had. The <laughs> yes, the special thanks to PJ's Barbecue too. Yeah, that was the best. PJ's barbecue is yes. outstanding. What's Anytime the key you, to good barbecue? You, when you get a Jamaican woman with a mustache, you know it's going to be good yes. barbecue. I kind of clued you guys into that. <laughs> Jamaican women with mustaches equal good barbecue. Good that barbecue. That was one hundred percent accurate. This cat, stray cast over here uh, to my right, the guy telling you uh, all about the uh, barbecued mustached uh, Jamaican woman. Mm -hmm. This uh, is the. Uh, <laughs> He is just simply Ryan. Yeah, I mean Ryan. <laughs> it's Ryan. That's a lot easier to explain than popcorn. Ryan. Popcorn. Yeah. Isn't it amazing how the name popcorn has taken off? It's a god. Yeah. I mean, it is take people don't even know who the hell Ryan is. I have to try Th to explain that's it. That's why I said Ryan. Too often. So from now on, I will not call you popcorn. Yeah. I won't call I'm you Ryan, popcorn. And that's Andy. I won't call you popcorn popcorn. I'm just gonna call you Ryan popcorn. <laughs> Okay. Either way, it's fine. Ryan Popcorn Whitaker. Either way it's fine. Yes. 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 I think we already did it. Yeah. Oh, we did. Yeah. Yeah. I'm your host, Pat Renwick. <laughs> yes. 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 Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate the extension. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ryan Whitaker. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Can I do this all night? Yeah. I'm just gonna do this shit all night. It's fun. That's, that's what it's all about. It, but really, um, it is time now for America's sweetheart. He is not only America's sweetheart. He is not only the original HHF hip hop fisherman. He is now a champion. He just won the uh, Bass Nation Wisconsin event, qualifying him. For the state team, he's kind of a big deal. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for J.P. High, the hip-hop fisherman, America's sweetheart. Speech. Speech, J.P. I got you a new microphone. Speak. Yeah, it's, not on. it's on. It's there on. It J.P., tell us how you did it in three words. I got lucky. He got lucky. There he is, J.P. High. <laughs> he's a state champion. State champion. Yes. Amazing. Amazing. He did not get lucky though. He was smoking them. Yeah, all he's, through practice. He's very humble. Him. Yeah, he's very humble. I mean, he, that's that's the whole deal. He gets that he gets that jig out there on the seven six alpha hitter and just clocks him. Yep. Or or else he's shaking that little uh, what do you call that little pen fifteen looking bait <laughs> with the he, with the he, mushroom head. Little old turd. The, the, yeah, the uh, Ned rig. The Ned rig. He's the he doesn't like me to say Ned rig. So yeah. I, Try and come up with creative, Didn't work, though. creative terms for it. Hey, uh, producing the snot out of this glorified version of a bass fishing talk show, Megan's husband and Gwen 
and Serafina's father, ladies and gentlemen, Andrew Ellenberger the third. Hello. 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 That's oh, Andy. Hello. That's Andy. You see him? Hello. Hello. Andy, wave to everybody. You got a microphone, a new microphone too now. So it's inter jump in, jump out, and introduce yourself. Your name is Andy. Yeah. You're a producer. Yeah. Right on, right on, right on. See? Learned that at that cheer camp yeah. movie where the guys went to cheer camp to pick up the girls, but they really didn't want to be cheerleaders. They just wanted to pick up the is babes. that wet, hot American it summer? It was an ingenious idea, an absolutely ingenious idea. Hey, um, speaking of ingenious ideas, if you are not already subscribed to – Bass Blaster. It's a bi-weekly email that our buddy Jay Kumar puts out. Always giving us props. Thank you so much, Jay Kumar, for your support. Get it. It's free. It's it's amazing, maniacal news about bass fishing from an insider's perspective that is totally off kilter, but totally on kilter. Yeah, if you don't have time to keep you, up on it on a daily basis, you get it once a week. You yeah, get all of it. You're a dum dumb. Just yep. read it. To, if you're not BassBlaster.rocks, go to BassBlaster.rocks. Sign up. It's free. Bi-weekly uh, email coming to you. Also, um, a couple quick shout-outs here. Uh, here's the deal. Oh, first, let me tell you this because I will forget this. Um, we are giving away tonight a, a G-Force culling system courtesy of TH Marine. That is right. It's the G-Force cull system. All you have to do, this is so simple. It's a $50 system in case you're, you're not familiar with it. Like and share the live StrayCast Facebook feed. Like and share the live StrayCast Facebook feed. Um, and Nicole Dorr, Bass Fishing Supermodel, she will be on at the end of the show to uh, announce the winner of the G-Force Call System. Real easy, like and share the live Facebook feed. Boom, you're in it for a chance to win. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. Hey, uh, a couple other things going on real quick before we get to the show. Uh, Alpha Angler. Alpha Angler Fishing Rods right now is having an amazing, amazing special. Go to their Instagram page and enter the contest to win the Zilla. The Z For those of you that are not familiar with the, with the Zilla, it's like um, sugar dough dumplings of bass fishing, Yep. if that even makes any sense. Throw anything it's out. It's like it. orange pop and sugar dough dumplings. You know what I mean? All mixed up into a happy fishing rod. And you can win a Zilla along with the reel of your choice. I think there's a couple options. And along with some Alpha Angler swag. So go to Alpha Angler on Instagram and uh, follow the directions. The link is in their bio to win a Zilla. Also, the good people over at PowerPole, uh, they are giving away a pro to Shallow Water Anchor. Super easy. Again, go to their Instagram, follow the directions. Chance to win a pro to power pole shallow water anchor hey speaking of put those power poles down don't go nowhere we're coming back with the champion clint davis see you in a minute Step up your game. It has been said that professionals are only as good as the tools they work with. And Alpha Angler has developed the ultimate set of tools for you, the competitive angler. Alpha Angler Custom Rods, brought to fruition by the passion of master craftsman Jake Boomer and 2017 BASS Angler of the Year, Brandon Palinick. Alpha Angler Rods are custom made in the USA designed and engineered to be perfect alpha angler utilizes a very unconventional approach to making the very best bass rods from drop shotting to flipping alpha anglers focus is on building perfectly balanced tournament grade bass rods at an affordable price join the alpha Lusion today and purchase direct at alphaangler.com step up your game alphaangler.com Hey guys, Micah Frazier here. I've got a bait from War Eagle Baits called the Buzz Toad. 
Big thing lately has been putting a toad style bait on a buzz bait, and preferably it's my favorite way to fish one. Uh, this bait here's got a quick planing head, a great hook, and it squeals right out of the package. Uh, the, the body of this bait is big and bulky, so it allows you to skip it. It, it planes quicker than a skirted bait would. Um, in my opinion, it's just the way to, it's the way to fish a buzz bait. So y'all check this thing out. It's pretty awesome. Taming the beast isn't easy, but the bigger your electronics, the more you have on the line. In conditions like this, you need the KVD Kong Extreme Electronics Mount. The only electronics mount designed and built to be rock solid. No movement, no matter how heavy your gear. A marine grade mount for fresh or salt water that's monstrously strong. The KVD Kong Extreme Electronics Mount. Yes, it was the final day of the 2018 Forest Wood Cup. A young man walked nervously in through the back door of the arena in Arkansas, somewhere, wherever the hell we were. He nervously went to the tank line. He knew he was four pounds, 13 ounces behind. The nervous young man proceeded to the stage weighed in his first on the stage, proceeded to sit in the boat on the stage, awaiting anxiously the outcome of could be the biggest event of his life. And then it happened by a seven pound, four ounce margin. Clint Davis wins the 2018 Forest Wood Cup Championship. Hell yes, yes. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. Oh, shit, Clint Davis is here. Yeah, there he is. Oh, wow. Hey, welcome <laughs> to the show, man. We were just messing around. It's good, good. That's awesome. Man. It's good, good to see you, dude. I didn't even know you were going to be here. You as well. Yeah, that was awesome, dude. Um, amazing. <laughs> you are a champion. You are a savage champion's champion. <laughs> hey, I like that. Little picture you all put up today. Yeah, that's the that's the work of our uh, producer, the Ginger Ninja. Yes, he's a he's, nice. a he's a big wrestling fan, and he fantasizes about um, bass fishing celebrities um, in uh, wrestling drag. If, if that makes sense, if that makes any sense, I'm not sure what I that think is. He used to hang out with Pat Rose sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> he likes that too, huh? <laughs> uh, that's what I heard. <laughs> but dude, it's great to have you on the show. Congratulations are in order. First thing off hey, the bat, so freaking cool, man. No doubt, man. It's uh, it's been a crazy, uh, crazy since last Sunday, and now I've got Yozuri following me along. My man Tyler from Yozuri over here. It's like, can't wait to get his ass back on the airplane so I can <laughs> calm down. <a> bit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because I mean, it ain't easy to win the 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 Forestwood Cup. First thing you have to do is you got to get yourself three phones, Clint. You know, you got to get three phones, one for business, one for conversation, and one for relations. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, you know what I mean? My wife never answers her, so I like, <laughs> we'll, we'll, stick, we'll stick with two phones. <laughs> yeah, <that's> the, <laughs> and then you need to get gold chains, like a gold, like with a Yazuri logo, probably an FLW Cup logo, big gold chains. Okay? We, we have a couple of weeks ago. I didn't even think about that. How do I get that back? Yeah. 
We, we need, yeah, I got to work on that. Yes, and it me- needs to be like a – or a solid gold um, Yuzuri Ultra vibe. Just get like a solid – Like a medallion. Yeah, uh, they could do I that. I got a whole bunch of those in the boat. Yeah, just dip them. All you got to do is dip them like baby shoes, you know, <laughs> and, they're, and they're yours forever. They're, they're yours forever. That's awesome. But, I mean, seriously, dude, has this even sunk in to you yet? Has no, this – it's beyond sunk in now, man. I have been so busy. Like it's, so, it's been overwhelming. Honestly, it's been a good overwhelming, but I, like, like I, you know, I don't sleep anymore. It's like, wow, I can actually live off of no sleep. Three, four hours is a great night. And, uh, you know, it's all for the good, but no, it's, it is definitely sunk in. Well, you're not grumpy from not sleeping. I get grumpy when I don't sleep. Dude, I just won the Forest Wood Cup. I've been waiting 32 years yeah. for this. I'm the happiest <laughs> man in the world. I'll, I'll be the happiest man in the world the rest of my life. Dude, that is that is so great, man. I mean, and and seriously, I want to hear. I was b- being a goofball, but I kind of want to hear in your own words, like walk us through that last day. You walked in that back back uh, door there for the anglers at the arena getting ready to go in the weigh-in line. Now, you kind of got an idea, right? But you don't have a complete idea. What, what's going through Clint Davis's mind? So, so I put the boat on the trailer at 3.30, and I, I pick up my telephone. I have over 300 text messages. I'm like, holy crap, what's up with this? You know, and I hit some. <laughs> Congratulations, all kinds of crazy stuff. I'm like, really? You know? And then my buddy Russ Lane calls. He's like, Maga, you got $300,000 worth of fish in that boat. So whatever you do, don't let a car T-bone you on your way back to Arkansas. <laughs> go back to, back to the arena, you know, and I'm like freaking out. Like, holy shit, I didn't even think about that. Like, what if what if a car hits my boat on the way back to the arena? Like, what, what happens then, you know? Right. Like, like, all your fish fly out. Like, you don't get to weigh them in, right? <laughs> yeah, pick them up off the highway. <laughs> yeah, you got you'd be doing mouth-to-mouth out there on the yeah. expressway. <laughs> so... Yeah, so I get back to the arena. My buddy Cody Meyer, y'all, I think y'all are having on next. I, I'm not Brad, never heard of him. Like, <laughs> like this whole crowd of people are out there, you know, and they're just all like, "Congratulations!" A couple of them are like my close buddies. The rest of them, they're just shooting pictures. I'm like, maybe, but dude, I don't believe anything in fishing. I don't believe you've won because I've been there a couple times. Like people are like, "Oh, you're going to win today," and then a guy pulls out. Like the first one was a coastal on Gunnersville. Dude pulls out a nine pounder for his fifth fish. He had to have seven pounds to beat me. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. So you know, and the guy, even the guy in the line, he's like, "Man, you whipped my tail today." This and that. So I don't believe anything until it's all over. Right until it till till the fat lady sings. That's, that's exactly right. Yeah, that, that's it. There was a few of them in Arkansas too. I heard them singing once you won. We knew <laughs> we knew it was over. Yeah, we knew it was over. A lot of barbecue. But, yeah, but that's that's outstanding, dude. And and I mean, and just to, I think that most of us have already kind of heard the the stories. You 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 were on your last leg as far as competing in derbies. Um, you got a second wind. You, you you go on to win this thing. I mean, how crazy is that? No, it's crazy. You know, like I took a huge break. I did. I was burnt out. I was thinking about going to work, and uh, you know, all my sponsors the whole time they were they were behind me. Um. And I, I just didn't know, man. I'd taken all the fun out of bass fishing. I'd done it so much, like fishing tournaments, doing a few guide trips, fishing jackpot tournaments on Saturday. It's all I did. It was like a drug that was no fun anymore. And it just, you know, the I took three months off. And, man, by the time the season started, I was like a little kid again. <laughs> That's it, awesome. Like that whole year, I've told all the guys I fish against, uh, guys on the bass side, like, I'm having fun, you know, and it's been, a, it was a good year before we went to the cup and, uh, I'm about to take a break right now. We're going to shoot dove and deer and watch Alabama football and get ready to go next January. Did Nick Saban call you yet? <laughs> you know, I heard from Donald Trump, but I have not heard from Nick Saban. <laughs> Is that a true story? You did? Heard from yeah, Trump? Yeah, Trump called me. Are you kidding me? Wow. No, I'm not kidding you. What did he call you? What is that? What did he call you? Called me to the champ. He said, "Congratulations." <laughs> he, said, he said, "Vote Trump next year." Dude, that's outstanding. But, but like, be honest. Would you rather got a call from Nick, from Saban? Yeah, man, pretty dark. Because <laughs> 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 uh, that's one of the things. I mean, you, you know, that's that's one of the things that happens when you become a uh, a Forest Wood Cup champion. We've heard that you win a million dollars. 
uh, <laughs> you get to hang out with Nick Saban, and you you also get three phones. Remember, it's yeah. one for conversation, one for business, and one for relations. We we actually did get a second, but not a third. Like I said, my wife she never answers it. So you're it's... gonna need three, but that's probably the number that Saban has is the third <laughs> one that you're not using right now. <laughs> so we we need to complete this. We need that's to a... we need to complete it. But seriously, man, you snuck in the last day, and the, and we're gonna get on to some other things. I just want to finish up with the cup here, but you snuck in by one ounce, dude. One ounce. Yeah. Crazy, crazy. It, you know, it was meant to be. I uh, like. The five, uh, day two, man, I was so upset because I'd lost three fish over three pounds on day two. It would have been fine if I lost one, but I lost three. Right. I lost one close to five on the first day. And and I remember I got in, but I'm just like so freaking tore down that night. So, dude, I just lost the Forest Wood Cup today. And then it, that's what happened on day three. I didn't lose the Forest Wood Cup today. <laughs> right. The three. fat lady sang, and it was, yeah. all, it was all over. But, I mean, it was a perfect storm, okay? I mean, and you can even go, go back – there's always things in history, no matter what we're talking about, whether it's bass fishing, whether it's war, whether it's love, whether it's life, whatever it may be, there are things or events that set up for the final outcome. Are, are you following me? 100%. Okay. So this is what I've, I have observed of the Clint Davis victory. Now, I know that um, that one guy you were talking about, uh, Cody Meyer, right? Yeah. Cody Meyer. He's he's a bass fisherman too. You know yeah. you know Cody Meyer. Yeah. He, <laughs> One of the best. He, yeah, he bass fishes. Uh there's a guy named Justin Lucas. He's another bass fisherman. Yeah. Y- you know these guys. Oh yeah. They're like, hey, this was going way back. They're going, dude, you gotta enter this derby here on Wachita as a as a non boater. They were yeah. they were pressuring you. There you go, you enter it. Then you go down the line a little bit. And you draw Scott Suggs, the Lord of Wachita. Okay, no doubt. You, you draw Suggs, the Lord of Wachita. Then you end up fishing a cup event there. I think what was that? Fifteen, two thousand fifteen. Wasn't fifteen. Fifteen, and you didn't have. A, I mean, you had a top fifty. I can't remember where you were, but you had. <laughs> I was still the pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but still not too shabby, right? And then. You lead in day two. You you lose fish on day two. Day two yeah. weigh in. You're in by an ounce. Okay, that is your chance. That's the setup. That's where the stars align. Day three. It, it's amazing. It, it is. It's crazy to even look back at that. Like, you know, Lucas. Uh, he came from California. I met him through college fishing, and he actually moved into the house. Uh, that's a whole other story there. So Lucas will move in for two weeks and. Uh, and you're like, bro, I'm uh, I'm gone these next two weeks, so I'm not paying rent. But that's a whole other story. <laughs> well, what a cheap ass. Yeah, that's my about this. But, yeah, you know, um, if it wasn't for Cody and Justin, maybe I did it for a living. Maybe I didn't. I mean, I was working toward it. But, you know, they're they like, hey, uh, come fish this tournament out at Wachita. And JR as well. JR was another one of the old crew. And I had a good tournament out there. I think I finished third out of the back of the boat. I had some great draws. And I was like, heck, I'm going to do this, you know, next year. I'm going to fish the whole tour as a co, and I'm going to fish the coast as, as a boater. And and I actually won one that next year um, out of the front of the boat and finished like a second and a third, whatever, in the coast. I made a lot of money. I made like $50,000 with, you know, very little entries. And, and that allowed me to actually go to the FLW tour. Yeah, I, I mean, wow. and, and the, re- the rest is history. A success story, no no doubt about it. Now, did you – is this true? I read this on Bass Blaster, and I didn't ask ask Kumar about it, but did you send a text with the picture of that Mr. Twister worm saying that you're going to win the Classic on, on that on that worm, like way back? I, I did. I sent it to my boss, man. We were out there pre-practicing. Hell, I didn't believe it, but, but I knew I caught a couple of good ones in pre-practice out there. Like, Daryl, I'm going to win the cup on this worm. Uh, if you don't mind, you know, I need some more. And I – Heck, I did. I mean, it was a. They definitely ate the fire out of it because I threw ribbon tails and all kinds of other worms, and they wouldn't eat it. So it was, the worm was actually the deal. I mean, I know of a forty-pound bag that Albert Collins caught on it earlier this year out in Texas. He beats every. He's been beating everybody's tail for a long time on that worm out there. Yeah, I mean, and there's another ingredient to the perfect storm. I mean, think about yeah. it. We're putting all this together here now. 
It's the evolution to the victory right there. And boom. Oh, yeah. Old school with the worm. How amazing is that? Why shouldn't a summer <laughs> event be won on a worm offshore? Why? You know? It's crazy. Like, it's, uh, it, you know, they, you just don't see many one on a, a big worm like that. And, it, you know, it's really freaking awesome that that's probably the best bet or the first bet I ever learned to throw. And I actually won the Forest Wood Cup on it. Dude, and, and think <laughs> about it, too, on a classic summertime brand, Mr. Twist. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, 100%. go back through history. How many of us have caught summertime bass on a Mr. Twister yeah, worm? I mean, I mean, one of the originals, man. Exactly. Why were you throwing that thing on the um, on the shaky head or on the uh, swing head, the big swing head? It, you know, it comes through brush a lot easier. Uh, when Biffle won, I heck, this meant forever ago. Now he won an elite event on Grand or Sounds right. somewhere out there. But I'm like, man, I've got to try this thing because he's just reeling it straight through brush piles. And, uh, yeah, I got my hands on my, me and my buddy Braxton went down to Lay Lake with it and won a whole lot of money on that thing. <laughs> and, uh, just, so ever since, you know, I've kind of gotten away from the whole Texas rig deal. That's pretty much the only thing I throw. On the big wobble wow. head, dude. It's like a crank yeah. that never loses it, bottom it, contact. Exactly. It, you're exactly right. And it catches them. It, it just flat out catches them everywhere. And it's amazing – how many people don't like to talk about that swing head? Do you know what I mean? No, they they don't talk about it because they know how good it is. And uh, honestly, I you know I probably should shut up too because I got to go back there next year. But back <laughs> <laughs> back on Washita on that deal as well. It is too late. I promise you, it's too it's too late for that, man. There's no doubt. Hey, so you um you spend a lot of time on the road in your boat. As a professional bass fisherman, it's just it's just what you do. Uh, well, I want to know from you what is your go to boat food? Like, what do you when you're out there during the day? What is your go to boat food? <laughs> That's so funny. Tyler's over here laughing. So so today I think it was like a sausage stick and a piece of cheese and some more of those Uncle <laughs> Ray's salt and, vinegar, salt, salt and vinegar. It just depends, man. I I, I eat all kind of stuff. Lar bars. Whatever I can get my hands on. Hey, at Wachita, it was actually Subway because there was a Subway on the lake. Perfect. So, yeah, we stopped by Subway for lunch every day. That's, is that That's, legal? You can get off the boat and go into Subway? Well, in practice. Oh, in it, practice. okay, gotcha. Okay, just making sure. I didn't know yeah. if you were trying to get sponsorship during the Derby, if that's what you were trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't happening. But, I mean, uh, people got crazy boat foods. I, I mean, you, you, you hear all kinds of different stories. It's always gas station food. Yeah, it's it's gas station food or it's crazy stuff that's left in the boat. Yeah. You know, like it just happens to be something and there's you have to make that, you know, that split second decision as we do as bass fishermen to decide whether to eat it or not. But most, well, some days well, some days you forget what you, you know, forget to bring your lunch and it's like, well, whatever's laying around in here from the last 5 months and <laughs> you go through and it's all melted and everything and you're like, "Nah." And then you start getting hungry. Get yeah. hungry. Now, I'm a big boy, so I'm eventually going to eat whatever's laying in that boat if that's all I've whatever's got. Whatever's there, man. Start eating the spit-up <laughs> fish in the live well or something. <laughs> Sauté to etouffee right there. <laughs> what, what is uh, – so what, what about being a professional bass fisherman grinds your gears? Because it's not always easy. It's not always easy. What about it? Yeah, what grinds your, your gears about professional bass fishing? I don't – I mean – that's hard to say, man. I, I just been doing it my whole life. I don't know. I've fished my whole life and that's all I ever wanted to do is fish for a living. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, I don't know. It's something you love. I mean, it, you know, it's, it, you're right. It's not easy. You don't make much money most of the time. Um, I mean, it's really hard to say. It's just, you know, I'll tell I, I you fishing. <laughs> the, the hardest thing about professional bass fishing today is that it is so hard to tell a professional angler from a non-professional angler because of the the, uh, the jerseys. Like, yeah. I was, my job as a bass fishing talk show host is to just interview people, and by the end of the Forest Wood Cup, I was out of breath because I just went up to everybody in a jersey. <laughs> yeah, what's that guy's name? I think it was Randy Flowers or something. He's been jumping all over. Him. Austin Powers. Yep. Yeah. He. Austin, yep. Powers. Austin Powers was all over him. Yeah, but it's true. It's but, 
it's such a true observation. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, you know, and it is what it is. I mean, if you can't separate yourself from guy, uh, the other guys with the jerseys and, you know, maybe you're not there yet because it's, uh, I, I mean, everybody has jerseys and it's pretty cool to see the college kids and the high school kids. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. I, I, I have no problems with that whatsoever. As long as they don't walk up to, uh, the Chevrolet dealership down the road and say, Hey, I'm, you know, Jimmy Jack, the professional angler from Montevallo, Alabama, that really works right. a nine to five and, and doesn't fish the FLW tour. They don't want to go into a Chevy dealer and said, my name is Jason Christie. Um, and I'm a professional bass fisherman, but I'm not that Jason Christie. <laughs> so but still give me uh, a truck. So that's yeah. what you're saying. Yes. Okay. Uh, totally on the same page. I totally get it. I totally get it now. Sorry, I had to get that off of my chest. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> they do do that, though. There are some that do that. They, they're to- yeah, b- big time. So another thing I heard, I don't know if this is fake news or not, but so apparently the Jamaican bobsled team was on Lake Wachita, and there was some shots fired. Do you, do you, know, do you know anything about any of that? All right, so – Sorry, guys, I'm not walking away. I'm walking in the house because it's getting dark. Okay. So, so actually, my my marshal the first day was this guy's marshal on day two. And I don't know what all went down, but that is without a doubt all the craziest stuff I've ever heard. Yeah, like, so you don't even know if there was, if the, if the Jamaicans there- fired shots or what? There were gunshots. He said there were gunshots, and the guy was out there actually trying to fish bass because the guy he was following around could not fish. So, yeah, that's all I heard. I don't know who it was, nothing about that. But, yeah, that's uh, that's a crazy deal, man. Yeah, and that bass fishing ain't easy. There we go again. <laughs> that's that's an example of it right there. Are we, are we losing them? No, you got me? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh wait, now I'm on the screen. How did this happen? <laughs> what just happened? Where, where did where, where? Wait, wait a minute. Where'd Clint go? I uh, should be there. Hey Tyler, what did I do to the screen here? <laughs> <laughs> See, this is the magic of a bass fishing talk show. Hey, right? I don't, I don't do Skype. If we were doing Facetime, I'd be dialed in. Yeah. What I do? He's hey, what's up, me? dude? What's going on? No, you can, on? you can see me. Can you see him? I, we can't see on our end. All right, now it's black. I'm gonna go back. How about I, now? I see me. Like I'm. Oh, we can. He's down there. Yeah, you're down there. This is outstanding. <laughs> this is like this is cinematography at its finest right now. I, that, I don't know what I did. Okay, now we're back. Now we're back. Okay, we're, we're good. We got it. You guys fixed it. Is that your Yazuri guy? Oh, he's the Yuzuri media guy. Man knows everything about everything. They know everything, those guys at Yuzuri. I'm telling you. They they dial it in. So, hey, what is your what is your road jam? Like, what's your jam out there? What's the tune that comes on the truck, man? I mean. It, man, I play it all. It's usually, like, country. I love classic rock. Uh, older country. I mean, I'm not really dialed into today's country. And. I guess it's like today's rock, uh, classic, you know, classic rock's my deal. I don't, you know, I'm, I'm trying to think of one band in particular, but I don't have one. I just do an all, all, I guess I'm, you know, an old soul. <laughs> no, I, I like it, but I had heard that you gave up classic rock. Is that, that's not true? Going to the ramp, I did, because I get so jacked up. I'm like ready to run through the freaking wall, ready to go fishing. <laughs> and I'm not thinking. I'm just freaking fired up. You blast off. You're just fucking running, running across the lake. That, that's not a good. So. It's not a good spot to be in. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, you know what? We play games on this on this show. And I have a game right. called Classic Rock Lyrics. So I, right. I'm going to give you classic rock lyrics. Oh, Lord. And you tell me the song it comes from. All right. Are you ready? It's the first time ever on this show. I like it. With, with Clint Davis. It's, it's a new one. Are you ready to play classic rock lyrics with Clint oh, yeah. Davis? Forest Woodcup champion. He 
He gave up classic rock, but now he's back to play the classic rock game. Stand up and shout for Clint Davis. Yes, Clint. Here's the first set of lyrics. You can either give me the artist or the name of the song are both acceptable. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to stand up and shout? Yes. <laughs> Classic rock <laughs> lyrics <laughs> with Clint Davis on Stray Cats. I'm Pat Rimwick. The first classic rock lyric to you, Clint, is I've been to the edge, and there I stood and looked down. I have no clue. Can you, like, play the part of the song, and then I might know. I can sing it for you. All right. I've been to the edge, and there I stood and looked down. You know I lost a lot of friends there, baby. I got no time to mess around. Oh. Good Lord, man. Who is that? I actually do know who that is. I know you uh, do. It's my brother. Can I ask Google? Yes. I can give you a big hint. Yeah, get, Ryan, give him a hint. He kind of looks like the guy. Looks like him a little bit. Or the wrestler from that Mickey Rourke movie. Kind of looks like the singer of this band. Yes. I know who it is, and I can't think of the name. Yeah, okay, uh, I think Van that... Halen. Van Halen. Buddy. Van Halen, oh, that is go. correct. You, get, you, you go. got it. Van Halen. Very good. Oh. Yes, Clint Davis, you're knocking it out. See? Classic rock has not left you. You may have left classic rock, though. <laughs> Here we go. Next lyric. Hey, hey, mama said the way you move, gonna make you sweat, gonna make you groove. Led Zeppelin, all-time favorite. What's that? Led Zeppelin. That is Led, Led Zeppelin. Zeppelin. No hesitation whatsoever from the Forest Wood Cup champion on that one. <laughs> Backstroking lover always hiding neath the covers till she talked to her daddy and say... Oh, God, I know this one, too. Who is it? I, it's not coming to my head. I, I know it, though. You know it. Think think it in your head. I, Backstroke <laughs> love always hot and need the cover scene. You talk to your daddy and say. Oh, God, it's not Guns N' Roses. It's, no, it is Guns N' Roses. No, no, it's, no, it's, not, no, it's no, close. No. It's close. They both have uh, long uh, hair. Def, no, it's not F. Leopard. No. It's, uh, it's got big geez. lips. It's from Boston. It's, who is it? Big, big lips. Big lips. Boston was on the Oprah Winfrey show Not once. Not Jagger. Friends with Oprah. <laughs> God, this is so sad. So I've heard this song for It's Steven Tyler from Aerosmith. Steve Tyler, Aer Aerosmith. There gotcha. it is. Walk this way. Walk this way. Here you go. Here's a classic rock favorite. You can check out any time you like, but you can never leave. Okay. It's a Hotel California from the Eagles. I'm making them easy for you. Making them easy for you here. You ready, Clint? Your final one for the victory. Enter light, exit night. Take my hand off to never, never land. I don't know that one. When I'm, I don't. It's, but your, your name is CVD, right? <laughs> hey, y'all been talking to it. Your name's CVD, right? I mean... I don't know that one. Why do I not know this, that one? This is Clint Van Dam. Your favorite. Why, not, why your, do I not know that one? Your favorite band, Clint Van Dam, is Metallica, and that was Enter Sandman. That's crazy. I don't know that one. You, you gotta have the the drum. I, think. I don't think I ever heard. I don't think I ever heard him singing that one. I just heard the. Oh. <laughs> yes, exactly. But see, I well, I got you, Clint Van Dam, mixed up with Kevin Van Dam. I think. Is what happened. <laughs> Some, yeah, that's his deal. Somebody's somebody's name who does not rhyme with um, Spody Hire told me to call you Clint Van Dam. <laughs> does that make any sense? Yeah, y'all just make you call him Ski the whole time you talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's the skier. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently so. You knocked it out. You won the first ever edition of Classic Rock Game. Here, guess the lyrics. Wow. Wow. Yes. You won some 12-inch uh, Mr. Twister uh, worms. I hope you could use a few. I got a whole case of my <laughs> How about a cool T8? What, what do you need, Clint? No, a TH Marine cup. That's that's pretty sweet oh, cup. You, you right like there. this? I get that yeah. Yes. This is a limited edition. If you see here, it's a Pat Runwick signature series model. This came, this wow. one right here. Yep. 
There's only been one of them made because I put my name on it. So it's right, it's right there. Someday when I win the Forest Wood Cup, this is going to get released to the market. You won the TH Cup. I won the TH Cup. Thank you very yeah. much, Ryan yeah. Popcorn Whitaker. But that's not true because I got one, too. Yeah, he got one, too. <laughs> know who doesn't have one? Brandon Palinick. That's true. Ha! Ha! So there it is right there. Hey, dude. Um, seriously, man. Amazing, amazing job on the Forest Wood Cup. Um, what of what an emotional victory. We we were right there. We saw it happen for you. The, the flood of emotions that filled your face, that filled your head. Dude, it was a sight to see. How amazing. Dude, you just don't believe it. Like like Cody and I were having a beer the night before it started. And uh I've been so close so many times. And, and what about saying right now? I don't think I'm ever gonna win a bass tournament. So I'm never gonna win one. Especially not the course where, you know, now now that it's happened, it's like when it's meant to be, it, it, it happens because the Forest Wood Cup was the worst tournament I fished all year as far as losing fish and stuff. And it didn't matter. It just, it was, it was my week and it was going to happen. And, you know, it may never happen again, but hey, it happened in the Forest Wood Cup one time. So that's, uh, it's an awesome day. Awesome. And your, your biggest weakness. And this is a quote from from you. Your biggest weakness, you state as mental toughness. Yet you certainly made your biggest weakness your greatest strength at this derby. There, there's no doubt about it. Yeah, I, I, I was gonna, you know, like I told Cody, we're gonna fish our asses off all week, and either it's gonna happen or it isn't. But the weather, the the toughness of the bites because it was harder and had to get a bite that's not going to bother me i'm going to my tail from the time we blast off to the time i get away in and that's what every single tournament i fish and it, like i said it, it happened last week dude amazing any last words that you'd like to say to your fans or your or your sponsors before we get out of here i i mean thanks to all of them i i mean you know there's a few watching um yo Zuri, he's sitting right here man it's like one big family with those guys. It's it, it's the deal. Like we call them BS all the time. And just you know, there's a lot more to it than sponsors. There's a lot more to it than Yozuri and Mr. Twister and Nichols and heck Phoenix Boats. All of them. It's uh it's the people I work for there, and they're just you know they're great people. That that's what it's all about. It's it's more about working for great people than it is promoting the brand. Yeah, I, I'm gonna push my tail off every day to promote the brand. But it's awesome to know that every time my phone rings, I'm not dealing with somebody I don't want to deal with. They're they're right. good people in the you know in the end. That's that's a strong statement. Can, can I talk to the Missouri guy for a second? Is he there? He's actually outside playing with my three year old, chasing her around. Oh. So he's a really good babysitter as well. Because I was gonna make sure that he made you the gold dipped rattling vibe to wear as a necklace. That's <laughs> no, like, really, like you are talking about this, so. A guy at ICAST actually put some on a gold chain. That's that's no lie. We had all the Japanese wearing them around taking pictures and stuff. They, <laughs> <laughs> they, they loved it. That is awesome. Clint, again, congratulations, and, and thank you so much for, for coming on the show. We'd love to have you back again sometime. Awesome. Hey, thanks for having me, man. I love y'all's show. Y'all have a good night. Take it easy on Ski, please, and tell him to return my phone calls You know when, when he gets done. Oh, I know. I'm going I'm to hammer them. Believe me. I'm, I'm going to get them. <laughs> That's Clint Davis. Awesome. Congrats, 2018 man. FLW Tour Champion. Hey, I want to remind everybody that's watching live, all you have to do is like and share the live Facebook feed for a chance to win the G-Force call system from TH Marine. It's real easy. Like and share the live Facebook feed. At the end of the show, Nicole Door Bass Fishing Supermodel will be here to announce the winner don't go anywhere put the power poles down you know who's coming up next who's coming up next cody meyer cody meyer the mayonnaise kid boom
Discover the magic of balsa. For decades, professional fishermen and the angling elite come to rely on the fish catching performance of hand carved custom balsa lures. PH Custom Lures by Phil Hunt have assembled the comprehensive line of custom balsa baits. The original Hunt and Pete, Bill Lowen's Dollar Bill, Wesley Strader's Plop and Pete, and the new Matt Heron Fudd, in addition to the entire family of PH Custom Lures are just what you need to get that edge over the competition. Discover the magic of balsa today and visit phcustomlures.com. That's phcustomlures.com. Nothing stops your boat faster and holds it more securely than power pole shallow water anchors. Some folks hear power pole and think, oh man, I can't afford that. But did you know you can get the 8-foot power pole Sportsman 2 hydraulic anchor now with Sea Monster 2.0 pump and heavy duty hydraulic hose for just $1,295? It's got all the features power pole anchors are famous for and a single Sportsman 2 will hold a bass boat up to 4,500 pounds. Go check it out at power-pole.com to find a dealer near you. Power pole, swift. Silent, secure. Taming the beast isn't easy, but the bigger your electronics, the more you have on the line. In conditions like this, you need the KVD Kong Extreme Electronics Mount. The only electronics mount designed and built to be rock solid. No movement, no matter how heavy your gear. A marine grade mount for fresh or salt water that's monstrously strong. The KVD Kong Extreme Electronics Mount. Welcome back straight cast outdoor cartoon television double tap those power poles bring them back up bring them back up because we're going for a little sale right now we're going with a sale right now with some bass fishing royalty ladies and gentlemen give it up for the second time ever on this show sir cody meyer yeah hey. it's cody meyer Third time, by the way. Is this a third time? This is the third time. Oh, yeah, yeah, if you count Forest Wood Cup appearances. Yeah. Yes. Well, Watson counts those, so we have to we have to count that for James Watson has the most appearances on this Stray Cast show. It, uh, he's actually two up on Brandon Palinick right now. So yeah, he threatened Brandon, Cody. Jeez. Yeah, he actually hey. You know what I'm excited about right now is I didn't even have to catch a potential world record spot of bass to make it back on the show. That is true. That's right. That is true. I know who CVD really is, so I got the invite. Yes. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, know I know you did. And we are not even going to talk about that world record spotted bass tonight. Everybody yeah. knows we, we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> we're not going to talk about Cody Meyer, the spinning rod fisherman. We're not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk about Cody Meyer and his little worm. We're, we're not going to talk about that. Hey, my wife loves that story, by the way. Oh, uh, about, <laughs> about the little about the worm? worm. Yeah. About, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this little worm went to market. This little worm had roast beef. <laughs> this li- yep. <laughs> I think it was your incredible performance at the red carpet night that got yeah, you back here. Co- he, he actually kicked me off. He became the temporary host of Straight Cast. It was, I believe... He just booted me right out. He grabbed me by the ponytail and threw me out of there. <laughs> Kept you know, it going. For once, I felt like a celebrity. One time in my life, I felt what greatness really feels like when I sat there with the microphones on my head or the earphones. Yeah. And see, I mean, you see what I'm saying? We're we're kind of a big deal. Now, hey, now you know. Kind of a big deal. Yeah. I Come mean, on. Hey. Also, my little girl has your good luck Thor. Does she? So she's she's like forever going to be uh, blessed with good luck. That That is true. It is the golden locks of Thor that bring good luck to all children of Asgard. That is That's, true. I love it. Love it. Yes. Thank you. And it could not be in a better place than with her. She went for <laughs> she went I chased her all across the entire expo center to try and get it back, but that kid of yours is just too quick. She's too she gets it from her mom. She's definitely <laughs> not for me. <laughs> it's awesome, man. I mean, and 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 think about this in perspective here. The 2018 FLW Tour Series gone. It's yeah. it's history. Um, 
the basically the 2018 fishing season a, a kind of history yes but there is not one like i don't think there is one act that we do even sex i think that fishing goes by so fast when, when we're there you know when, i agree when we're, there is not any that we're we're time lapse as is as quickly yeah. as it does in fishing eight hours never goes yeah it's that like fast. where do, so where's no. the 2018 season where is a day on the water they it's so quick cody hey uh, you know i've been saying this i've done this for 10 years now every single year goes quicker and quicker and quicker why because every event something's going on this raining the fish aren't biting so you're going i can't wait for the next event i can't wait for the next event so each event you find yourself saying that all of a sudden, the season's over. But let's get to the important stuff here. How did CVD not know who Inner Sandman is? Who I, sings that? For real, right? That <laughs> was horrible. <laughs> was, guy, he thought it was a song or something, yeah. CVD. It was, was the name of a song. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't get Enter Sandman. I thought that was the easiest one. I gave him, like, yeah. the most basic, easy, um, you know, rock and roll songs that were there. My wife even screamed it out. Metallica. See, she knows. <laughs> she knows. Everybody does. So I had the wrong Van Dam. Was, I had the wrong Van Dam on the show. Apparently, it, it, it was my bad. Two wrongs don't make a right. So while while we're talking about the um, the current FLW Forest Wood Cup champion, uh, Clint Davis, you have a nickname. He has a nickname for you. He calls you yep. Ski, and he will not tell me why he calls you Ski. Oh, well, so I swore I'd never tell this story again. So the true story here, okay? Yes. Now, just to let you know, this story is a little sad. So if we get a little bit of happy music after this. Oh, we, do you want bad. sad? Get, we can do sad music while you're telling the story, and then we'll do happy music after. So here you go. Thank Here's you. some sad music. Guys, I'm going to warn you, it's never bad news if there's happy music. Okay, that's yeah. right. Okay. Okay. So, true story. Wait, hold Summer on. Wait, wait. Pretend you're hosting the show again. You got to wait for the happy, for the sad music. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Tell the producer to hurry up. There it is. Hurry up, producer. Okay, that's how you do it. The summer of 1969, summer of love. No, actually, I don't know the summer or the, or the year, but my good friend, Okay, was at the lake one time and I was telling Clint this story true story here and he thought it was hilarious and so after that I've been called ski but true story there was these guys at the lake they were drinking they were partying they were laughing they were uh, having a good old time there's a guy in a boat just imagine a guy in a boat and then there's a guy sitting on the dock okay so the guy in the dock had He's on and the guy in the boat has the rope and he's going to take off and this guy is going to stand up from the skis take off out in the middle middle of the lake look like a hero right well the guy in the boat screams out are you ready ski king <laughs> the guy at the dock says hit it mother <laughs> i takes off go straight under drowns oh no <laughs> wow that's great hey, so now Happy music. Happy, mu happy, happy music, music for happy death. Music. Happy death music. Okay, so. Yes. It's, uh, I told Clint this, and he had one of these looks on his face for a couple minutes, and then he started laughing for about four hours, and since then he's called me Ski King. That was uh, <laughs> a story about 10 years ago. Wow. See, this oh is the God. magic of a bass fishing talk show right there. It's, you know. And, it's on the death of a king. Yes, and if you want to give money to save, um, uh, sheltered homeless puppies too we can do that now too hey i'm just glad i don't have my shirt off like james watson man that I was just, i would never be invited back that was yeah that was something <laughs> else uh and and all he did was throw you under the bus that entire episode that's all right but that's all right but don't worry i'm giving you a chance for redemption later Thank on you. Thank we're, you. we're gonna we're gonna get to that there's there's no doubt about it i want to get to know cody meyer the angler we talked about before the rec the world record spot deal finesse fishing we know you love fishing that ocho we know you love fishing the dream shot drop shot we we, we see that about you yes but what is something that we don't know about cody Meyer? so something you don't know is i never go anywhere without that th marine mug you got there for one that yes 
style. It's badass. It, yes, badass. I didn't want to say it, but you can't. I'll go ahead and say it. badass. Yes. Okay, some I don't know. You know, I love people always picture me as this light line, finesse guy, drop shotter, because, because I am. Uh, but <laughs> I grew up in Northern California, still live in Northern California. I love frog fishing, flipping, throwing huge swim baits. Uh, that's something I always look for, but I always seem to fall back on the little light line stuff. So people see me with, you know, 10 bait casters on the rock on the deck and go, what in the heck are you doing? Is this like a ploy? It's like, actually, no, I love doing this stuff, but I'm t- titled as a, uh, fairy wander, little worm guy. All those are true, but most people don't know that. But I, so you know, like I, Aaron Martin's. Yeah, he's he's he he is a, a jack of all trades, and one and the reason I do know that, I remember how happy I was one time, and I'm like, holy shit, this is awesome! Cody Myers doing a video on a three quarter ounce football jig. Yes, <laughs> now we're talking. Hey, it, it when I cast a casting reel and rod, people go, what? You can actually do that because. I seriously, very few tournaments actually start off with the spinning reel. Okay. Now I, I, I always end it with the spinning rod and reel, but usually I try to throw something with 15, 20 pound or braided line on there to, to at least start to look cool. Anyways, wait, this is just in from the Daiwa corporation right here. And it says, actually the truth of the matter is Cody Meyer designed all of the Tatula Elite Series rods with Ish Monroe's name on them. Ish Monroe did not design them, but it was really you. That came- he did not. You know, when you, when you look at us together side by side, I mean, we look identical. It's true. Uh, <laughs> I mean, there's not much difference other than he's about two feet shorter than I am. But other than that, we look similar, and he can't throw a frog. Are you kidding me? I, I'm telling I mean, you. Actually, <laughs> Dan, but he grew up on the California Delta, and he snuck up here to Lake Oroville and Shasta, deep, clear, water and i showed showed him everything i know i mean i sh- put he, the frog on there showed him how to walk the frog and how to set the hook and have no drag on your on your tattoo uh sv reel and yeah the rest is history but yeah i designed every one of those see I take credit do you see how i got a sponsor plug in for you too there <laughs> hey, shamelessly I just, I just want to get ishvan rose paycheck for that <laughs> <laughs> well it, apparently after this show the daiwa corporation is already talking so we, yes you could look for that you could look out. that for in that in the hey, mail by the way they are phenomenal rods even though i didn't really design them they are badass yeah they're Pretty. they look they look like lightsabers too they, they do. I mean, when you you can see them from a mile away, you can see that lightning rod just pop up off in the sunset, and you go, "Yep, die with tattoo elite." That's it. There it is. It's right there. Yep. Cody Meyer signature yep. series spinning rod. That's it. It's coming out. <laughs> it's coming out. <laughs> so, dude, what is is your? Let's okay. Let's we're we're on this sponsor thing. Let let's say that you, Cody Meyer, had the carta blanche to pick any sponsor that you wanted. In the industry, out of the industry, who who would you pick for you, Cody Meyer? Straight cast. Yes, sir. Sure. <laughs> that can be done. No brainer. Hello. Yeah. Oh. I mean, yeah. Seriously. Here, we're gonna give you a sticker too. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. send hey, you one hey, sticker. Can I, can I can I pay for that sticker? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely, you can. So you can learn no. the product first. You know, honestly, this is gonna sound really corny here, but. I, I really do believe I have the best sponsors in the industry. I mean, you know, I love everything Garmin has. Tacklewarehouse.com. You can buy everything. Uh, Strike King, Daiwa, TH Marine, Boat Bling. This hat I'm wearing is super cool, awesome looking, but great products. I mean, Ranger Everett, I take pride in all that stuff. And once upon a time, I was going after sponsors because I thought, hey, this is what you need uh, to, to be the guy. But in reality... You know, later on in my career, I went after sponsors that it's stuff I use, stuff I I uh, believe in. And if you believe in that stuff, it's easier to promote because it's the stuff you actually it's, use and you want to use. It's so much more satisfying, too, it is. as an angler. It's so it's there's nothing worse. Well, I couldn't say nothing worse, but there's <laughs> it's <laughs> it's a horrible thing to to have to be sponsored by a bait or a company and know that you don't have confidence in that bait. Okay. Yeah, I've seen it, ha- it. I've been fortunate where it has not happened to, to, to us. 
but yeah. I have seen it happen to other anglers. It's like, they're like, dude, you're, that you're throwing that thing. You're that's going to be five casts and you're taking it off. You know, I just, I won't do it to be honest. And you know, I was one of those guys working hard for a dollar, trying to pay taxes, make a living. And so when you watch these guys talk about whatever they're talking about, and then they don't even actually throw it. I just, I, I have a hard time. Uh, you know, I, I can't do it. And so I won't do it. And so whatever I promote, I really do believe in TH Marine. I mean, all that stuff, Seaguar. Sure. It's, amazing stuff and i know that's a super corny answer but uh not not at all i got some good stuff and yeah. and and that and that was the whole premise of that question because i mean and even let's just be upfront about it a company like strike king everything they make is good we're not sponsored yeah. by strike king okay but <laughs> yeah. everything that strike king makes is good it, it just that, is yeah that i'll tell you right now i do know a guy in strike king i can uh Kind of put in a good word for you. I appreciate that. I'll send I mean, it. that hair right now is phenomenal. Thanks, thanks, <laughs> thanks. I'll uh, I'll send him a sticker too. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They get, they get a sticker too. But uh, you know, it's it's a it's a blessing in this industry to be sponsored by a company that you believe in and they believe in you. Just like your buddy Clint told us before before he left the show here today. Yes. It's it's the same kind of deal, man. It's it's a blessing, and people see right through it if it's the other way. Too. Yeah, they do. We, we Absolutely. All see it. I mean, CVD. You know, he uh, he's a good guy. Did did he tell you why he's called CVD or no? No, no he wouldn't even know what the hell I was talking about. He knows what you're talking about. He <laughs> just was turning red like a tomato. So years ago, this is how long Clint and I go back. My first year on tour, Justin Lucas and I were traveling together from California. And he goes, hey, I know this guy. His name is Clint, uh, Cletus Davis. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, what about him? He goes, well, we can leave our boat and truck there. Okay, so let's go. Let's do it. So we meet him. So years later, Lucas and I come up with this story about, you know, about 20 years before this story happened. Uh, a, a young lady from Montebello, Alabama, traveled up to Kalamazoo for spring break and met this <laughs> wonderful guy <laughs> named Kevin Van Dam. And uh, one night in paradise, and the rest is history. CBD is born, man. Here he is. He is alive and ready to roll, man. And he's he, the champ. He's the so op- it He's got royalty in his blood right there. He does. It's, yeah, it it's very similar to the time that Joe Thomas um, traveled to southern Indiana. And then next thing you know, here's a little Jacob Wheeler running around. It's, <laughs> I love it, man. It's, it's the same thing. <laughs> I, I don't know. The ladies oh, couldn't resist those, There's a little uh, Jacob. Little red shorts. It looks like around. a little mini Joe Thomas. Look at your cutie pie. Does, <laughs> Except Jacob, I love Joe. Yeah, I fished uh, Ultimate Match earlier this year. Jacob, slightly a better fisherman. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not taking that away from him. Not <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, jeez. It's Jacob Wheeler for crying out loud. He's not bad. <laughs> yeah, he's a, he's a heck of a fisherman. He, he's a heck of a fisherman. Hey, uh, what is your guilty pleasure in life cody meyer what is your guilty pleasure in life guilty pleasure would be you know i don't know indulging when i'm traveling i'm a full-time trucker part-time fisherman just shoving handfuls of sunflower seeds in my mouth driving down the highway when i know there's too much salt in them too much sodium bad for blood pressure but i do it anyways yeah and and then just spit the seeds out the window yeah, just spit them because I'm free. I'm a free man, yeah. you know. So I just spit them out the window, and <laughs> I feel good doing it. And you know what? It keeps me awake. So not a, my wife, no not, more sunflower seeds, but I want to be awake. I want to see my kids again. Not all birds are meant to be caged. You know what I'm saying, Cody Meyer? Yeah, that's exactly right. You know exactly what I'm saying? Right. Love it. Little road tip for you: they sell the unsalted ones at Walgreens. So <laughs> yeah, there okay. you go. What fun Problem is that? Solved. Hey, boo, that's that's like eating uh, sugar-free candy. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Cody, pick a movie that best describes your life a movie. oh probably you'd have to say holy cow shrek man shrek I mean, you know, yeah big green guy got a family running around and kind of like an ogre living in the swamp <laughs> that, wow <laughs> that's it that's no a hesitation that was it i mean yeah boom you had that ready the, these are total spontaneous <laughs> questions and hey, boom you had shrek the only ready. reason i came up with that is because my little girl said i want to watch shrek dad so bad earlier and i just thought you know what i'm kind of like a shrek <laughs> 
<laughs> Did you ever see Eastbound and Down? Do you ever watch the series? Oh, gosh, yes, man. Eastbound and Down, Mouth, Mouth Dam. I, I got it, man. It's love it. <laughs> so remember when they're sitting at the table and they're and they're like, "What's your boy's name?" Shrek. When it is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, hold on, Brooke, Brooke. My little girl is yelling at me. Yeah, she wants to see. She wants to see Pat. I think. Hey, again. send her on in. Send her on Come in. Here, the real bro. live Thor. On the show? Yes. She wants some blackberries. I don't have blackberries, but I. <laughs> hey, remember, remember this guy? Come here. He gave you the little Thor. Come here, sweetie. <laughs> See, remember him? Hey, what's going on? How are you? Good. G good to see you. What's going <laughs> on there? You been fishing today? Uh huh. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me. You too. catch a bigger fish than Daddy? Yeah. You always do. <laughs> uh, you, right. And she looked amazing up on the stage at the at the cup. Thank you. Yes, yeah. yeah, she. Uh, she was she the Bella is, of the ball. Yes, thank you. It's it's so great to have them there. You know, being fisherman, uh, you really like the Forestwood Cup. Hey, it was a decent tournament for me. No, I didn't do what Clint did and win the thing. But when you come off the stage and you see your family, your kids, my boy, my girl, my wife. It doesn't matter. It's the best part of, of my life for sure. Dude, and it is amazing. And when, when we have you professional bass anglers on the show every week, um, we constantly remind you guys, as well as affirming for ourselves, what an amazing way this is to make a living. I mean, it is. seriously, dude, come on. It's amazing. I'll tell you. It's been my dream since I've been five years old. No, no BS. I remember people saying, you don't want to be, you want to be a professional. What? Bass fisherman? Right. Uh, you know, and say stuff like that. Don't you want to be Michael Jordan or Joe Montana? Nope. I want to be a bass fisherman. Like, like Rick Klon, baby. Exactly. You know? <laughs> it's crazy. You never really think it, but here I am. And, and, uh, definitely blessed to, to be in this position and just love every single day I'm on the water even when it rains, because I have Sims Rain gear. So yeah, get, boom, there it is, another sponsor plug. <laughs> Here's one of the there coolest things about being in the fishing industry, and you tell me if you agree with this, that when we're kids, we what we do is we play with toys, right? I yeah, mean, I so, still do. Yeah, yeah. I, I do too, actually. Yeah. You should see the studio here. It's, it's lined with <laughs> Yeah, your daughter stole this toy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she's oh, yeah, yeah, you, nothing to play yeah, with. The she whole knows, week. guy. What am I doing? Where's my Thor? <laughs> but the uh, so here's the fact of the matter: as we grow up, we play with fishing tackle, right? Yes. And one of the coolest things about working in the fishing industry is just having tons of tackle. Yes. Is it not just one of the coolest things? I am a tackle junkie. Okay, bro, go show that to mama. Go show that to mom. I am. I'll be honest. A 100% tackle junkie. I always tell Daiwa, please take me to Japan because if I do, I'm going to spend every ounce and every cent of money I have on all that cool stuff over there. Because <laughs> sure. I, I have a full garage of tackle, and right now we just move or, you know, we just uh, renovated a new house here. And half the time I'm in the garage messing with tackle. My wife's screaming and yelling at me, but I just act like I can't hear her and just keep messing with that tackle because it's awesome. <laughs> I Sorry, babe. My wife just walked up. That was a lie. <laughs> J-K-L-O-L. Right yeah, there. yeah. <laughs> but so in my tackle collection, I have an old crankbait. It's an old Bagley crawdad. And yes. I, I call it uh, Mr. Hanky or the craw shizzle because it looks like a turd. Nice. But it is an amazing bait. And I, const I don't fish it anymore, but... I'll always take a look at it. I'll yeah. Always, do you have any baits like that in your collection that, that are special to you? I do. Yeah. So this is, uh, I'm not supposed to say this because it's not a Strike King bait, but my dad always told me, my dad's a trout fisherman. Okay. He's got delusional thoughts in his brain when he's fishing for these trout. But hey, once upon a time, he, we grew up on a farm pond. He said, son, I'll teach you how to catch bass. So he has this broken back Rapala little lure, and he goes, "This is how you catch bass. This is all you need. They're they're dumb, you know, dumb fish. They don't they don't really think. They just bite stuff." So he gave this bait to me. I remember throwing that thing out there, caught this bass. I swear I thought it was a world record, and it was really like probably a three pounder. But when you're five years old, that thing was a monster, and sure. I still to this day 
have that lure. Have I made a cast with it? No, not in 30 years, but <laughs> I still have it. So it's a cool memory. And one day I'll probably give it to my son and, and say, Hey, this is a bait that I caught my first fish on. It doesn't work anymore, but <laughs> got some we <laughs> have this bait called the KVD shiner son. That's yeah, a, a lot exactly. better. It's a lot better. It's a lot better. But, <laughs> but no, I mean, and what is it about broken back Rapalas being grandpa's favorites everywhere? That's what my what my grandpa threw and the I rooster think, tail. Yeah, I think it's just probably the only thing that made back then, to be honest. Right. So, I don't know. I don't know. But my dad swore by this thing. And you know what's crazy is, like, nowadays, here comes another sponsor plug, uh, Nowadays, when I take a Strike King out of a package, I always put owner hooks on it. No, but hashtag owner. You'd pull these, you'd pull these baits out, uh, and you would have these old junky hooks on it, and that was like, that was the thing. And, and I know this guy named Mike Reynolds. He used to fish the Elite Series. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I traveled with them for for three years. My my rookie. Uh, sophomore junior year on the FLW tour so this guy told me so much stuff I mean he really was knowledgeable and he used to throw that Stren blue line the and bill I dance thought, line yeah yeah and not like for night fishing this is during the tour event and he said Cody all you have to do is throw the bait out there hop it twice and set the hook it's that easy and I thought, <laughs> okay I, I don't know about that but he never changed hooks he just he just rolled with it. He said, you know what? These hooks are good enough. I mean, I am like, I will not throw a bait anymore with stock hooks, you know. But back in the day, you think about it, they made baits. There's not even split rings on the baits. They're just right. directly yep. to the bait. So, Screwed I mean, on. we've come such a long ways. Yeah, and, and uh, I mean, and, and pretty much the evolution of hooks, especially on, on hard lures, is is become premium is the norm or the standard yes. now. I mean, yes, I mean it really is. But yeah, many many uh, many hours changing hooks has, go is, has gone through. That is oh, my yeah. favorite part of watching those old uh, those old tournament videos is watching those guys in the '80s set the hook because they got the dull hook and the stretchy mono. Yeah, and it's just hey, over let's the not head. Forget about the, the pistol grip rod. That, yeah. that's five foot two. Oh yeah, <laughs> classics, classics. And then and then also that sound that that original blue stren made. Think about the. Ding, 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 the stretch mm -hmm. that it had just... yeah i it, he I, i'm not kidding man this is like you know back to seven years ago he was still throwing that i, I mean i'm like cigar fluorocarbon the the tatsu the best stuff you could possibly get that's what every rod is lined up i mean i'm like real precise about line because growing up in deep clear water and he's like you know what that doesn't matter just throw it out there hop it twice set the hook and heck for 30 years he made a living Catching bass. You remember in that movie, um, the Shawshank Redemption, where Old Man Brooks, Old Man Brooks is is like, the world went and got ahead of itself in big damn hurry. Yes. You, you, you know, oh, yeah. is is that kind of what's going on here with with professional bass fishing? I I think so. I, I'd say this to the younger generation. So when. I started the tour. I was an offshore guy. No, I still am. But I would turn my garments on. I'd run out there. I'd find all this stuff. And I remember Larry Nixon telling me, dude, how'd you find this spot? It was on Kentucky Lake. And I said, well, it, it stands out like a sore thumb on this graph. And he goes, I've been fishing this spot for 40 years, 40 years, and no one fished it. So every single kid, high school kid, college kid, any angler has all that knowledge right in front of them on those graphs. On, it's right on there. That, arm and screen so you can run out there you can find it and i really do believe this sounds crazy but those fish that have been offshore their whole life never pressured never really bugged they're coming back to the bank because there's less people fishing on the bank so i mean back in the day that's all you did is you go down the bank throwing a spinner bait throwing a broken back whatever and uh now those fish are they don't even get pressure anymore so i think the world yeah the fishing world's definitely getting ahead of itself and fish are going to start revert back to uh what their grandparents did. Yeah, like in nice. Harry and Charlie in the old Bassmaster magazines. Remember those? I remember, man. <laughs> yeah, that's what we need. That's the world of bass fishing yeah, we need. Keep pushing them to the bank, too. Yeah, I, I like, like that. that. Yeah. yeah. But Let's go, keep doing it. Big time. Go. <laughs> <laughs> there seems to be, um, let's just go straight out and say it, in the rumor mill in the professional bass fishing world that there seems to be some change on the horizon. 
Uh, no idea what you're talking about. Uh, that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Yeah. <laughs> is is change a good thing for us to 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 see here? I think change is always good. Uh, I think competition is always good. It pushes everyone to be better. So I think if there is change, it's going to definitely shake some stuff up, make uh, make things better for everyone. And by better for everyone, can everyone make more money? I think so. I think I want to see fishing, and a lot of anglers agree, you want to see fishing like golf, where you qualify at the highest level, you're in the event, and no matter what, you're getting paid. I mean, we do this for a living. Uh, it's our passion, but we do it for a living. And I think people want to see something that uh, is going to be like that one day. And, and I, honestly, I mean, FLW is, is taking huge steps uh, you know, this last year I fished FLW tour, you know, getting rid of, of co-anglers, having the Marshall program, steps like that for any organization are going to be really good, uh, to making this really more of a, a professional circuit. Yeah. A hundred percent. And, and I, and just, I'll just be completely frank about this, that I think that we got to know the personality of Cody Meyer, the angler, from watching you on MLF. Yeah. I mean, it, it, now we followed you on FLW for years, uh, you know, from the get go. Circuit breaker. As Circuit well. breaker. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you. But I, I think that, it, that at least for me personally, watching Cody Meyer on, on MLF, I'm like that. I know that dude. That's the dude I know. You know, yes. I mean, I think it shines. Does that make sense? Uh I, it makes complete sense. MLF, I mean, is it's amazing. For one, when you see this format of Major League Fishing and you pop up there like the, the selects right now that I'm fishing, no practice. Hey, here's the lake. You don't know where you're going. They don't tell you. It's real secretive. Uh, there's a lie detector test. It takes three hours. So you're not going to try to cheat this in any way. You pop up. Three hours? Go, three hours. Three hours, wow. scary as can be. So you're wow. never, no one's ever going to try to cheat the system in this thing. Okay. And, and well, it's, I mean, it's really just for fun too. I mean, it's a fun thing. It's awesome. Um, but it's the purest form of bass fishing. I, I've said it for forever. It just, you get out there, you see what the guy is thinking, what the thought process is going on. Why am I not catching them? And then really the pressure. I mean, I'm losing my hair. I'm getting gray because of MLF. So thank you guys. <laughs> um, but just hearing that score tracker, I mean, it really makes you think, um, Hey, I gotta, I gotta change it up and I gotta, I gotta make changes to become better. And what's cool. I've learned a lot. I feel like I've, I've dealt with adversity pressure more because of major league fishing, uh, doing those selects. And then also you see these weird little windows where guys will start catching them. Like when you hear that score tracker, yeah, it seems like, it's a boom, 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 boom. Everyone catches multiple fish or one fish or, you know, some guys like if CBD was on there, he'd catch 40 in a row and yeah. catch one. And but, not know Metallica. Yeah, exactly. But not knowing who Metallica <laughs> is. But it, uh, you, you see these weird little windows. So it actually teaches you about fishing because then there will be like two hours where no one gets a bite. And you're like, huh. And then all of a sudden everyone catches them. So fish have these weird behavior, uh, you know, patterns that you don't really see until you're out there and a bunch of guys are – all throughout the zone and you guys it's kind of cool i don't know you figure it out a little more yeah the, wow. there's energy there too and yeah in absolutely it. man it's it's a cool deal and and yeah i mean who knows what's coming but uh it sounds like big things you uh want to play some games you ready to play some games here let's do it let's all right shoot i got me. i got two games here and you tell me what you want to play first we we can play match them up but let, yeah let's play match them up first all right. Okay. Now I need. Do you have a pen and paper ready? I do. Yeah. I don't know how to write though. Is that a problem? Can you get your daughter to come in and do that for you? <laughs> that's good. Let's, yeah. I'm ready, man. Let's, okay. Let's do it. The the first person's name I need you to write down is James Watson. Okay. Okay. The next per Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> <laughs> the next person is David Dudley. David Dudley is my. Hero, okay. okay. Just, just to, I you know, know. I, call, I call him every day at practice. Say, what's up, my hero? Yeah, he'll he'll melt your face <laughs> off when you least expect <laughs> he will, it. Man. Don't mm -hmm. ever make a mess. Yeah. Set the world on fire. Uh, Mark Zona, write down Mark okay. Zona. Um, that's all going to be in all caps here. Yes. Z O N A. Not write down uh, Clint Davis. 
Okay. CBD. Write down Alex Davis. Okay. And write down Chris Jones. Chris Jones, man. Yeah. Right, yeah. All right. And here you might as go. well write down Takahiro Amore, too. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm yeah. just going to put talk here because yeah. I don't know how to spell his first or last name. Yeah, just put talk. That's <laughs> yeah. what we, okay. He knew it. He knew it. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> okay, ready? <laughs> this is a game called Match Him Up. What I am going to do is I am going to give you an alleged circumstance that this person is involved with and you n- match up that name. Perfect. Okay. Let's play. Match him up with Cody Meyer, FLW, and MLF Pro. Cody, you have the names by you. I'm going to give you the alleged circumstance, and you rattle off some names. Mark them off as we go. This angler is currently in litigation with the Meyer family over discrepancies on not paying out royalties for a nickname which Sir Cody Meyer appointed to this gentleman. James Watson. That is James Watson. You got that right. <laughs> so I hope you win that because the whole JMMF, MF, MF. Worldwide. That's yeah. worldwide. Comes from you, Cody Meyer. That's it. And damn it, you need credit for it. I need some money. Yeah, that's Come what on. I'm saying. Watson got all that money, dude. He's got all that money. He's- He's even got the hat and the and the dirty Sanchez yeah. beard going on. Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> yes, the donkey yeah. punch beard, whatever that is. <laughs> yeah. okay, I don't even know. Let's call James. Yeah. yeah, let's call James. So, okay, here we go. This angler, this television show host, has allegedly been. What is this? What is my writing saying? Oh, allegedly, <laughs> allegedly been possessed. By the Indian spirit animal Spotopotamus Mangundo after taking a trip fishing with you for spotted bass. In fact, this angler wakes up in cold sweats every day. Uh, Mark Zona. That's Mark Zona. That is correct. (laughs) That is correct. This FLW Tour Pro, known as the Free Baller. Whew. The Free Baller was... allegedly made a major magazine publication take his picture down off of the cover when that when a little bit too much was revealed in this photo when you say a little bit i mean i saw this thing and it was a little bit it's a little bit (laughs) just the tip (laughs) just the tip david dudley sorry david dudley the free baller yes you're he's batting a thousand so far he's batting a thousand so far This FLW Tour Pro allegedly stole Chad Grigsby's boat after the Forestwood Cup because he felt he was more deserving of the Mountain Dew Rap. Oh, my gosh. I don't know this answer, but I'm going to take a shot in the dark dark here and say Alex Davis. That is Alex Davis. That is correct. He Man. beat the shit out of Grigsby after the cup. <laughs> hey, don't mess with the whole damn Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Okay, you have uh, three names left. You have Clint Davis, Takahiro Mori, and Chris Jones. This angler was awoken in his sleep prior to the 2018 Forestwood Cup by his friend Cody Meyer. Asking him where the Funyuns were <laughs> and if he should fish a big worm. <laughs> I, I know I know it's CVD, and it was, where's the Funyuns and get the coffee ready, bro? bro. <laughs> <laughs> <Where> the, uh, <laughs> Funyuns and coffee is definitely Collective. food choices of champions. <laughs> definitely food choices of champions. And uh, I guess let's get a consensus here. Do we have a winner? Do we have... Wow. Dude. 100%. No, I mean, knocking it out. Am I making these games too easy for these guys these days? Well, obviously not. With Inner Sandman, I'll bring that back up. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that was a... Uh, and, and I even had... a mind I had, like, I had the total game... I had the total game me for him, too. I had, like, if I leave here tomorrow, will you still remember me? Like, like... <laughs> 
you know, like, come on, dude. It's free bird, bro. Yeah. It's free bird. <laughs> Michael Jackson. <no. laughs> He's got to get free bird. You got to get free bird. Okay, now this is the moment that everybody's been waiting for. It's time for the Bass and Life edition. Cody Meyer, I think you hosted Bass and Life at the red carpet. Uh, I did. At the Forestwood yes. Cup. But uh, now it is time for you to get hammered with Bass and Life. I am going to give you a word or a phrase, and you relate it to bass fishing as well as life. Uh-oh. Viva la vida loca. Oh, my gosh. That's when you're living a crazy life. In the, ba- in the bass fishing world, it's like when they're schooling all around you. Yeah. And you can't get one to bite. And you're going crazy, okay? And then in life, it's uh, it's like... When you take that Red Bull and coffee and you're going to the ramp and you're walking out of Inner Sandman and you're ready to get this derby started, man, you are crazy. Living La Vida Loca. And that was you not got even the, you a, got the bonus. Yeah, that wasn't even a question. That's how much of a pro Cody Meyer is. Oh, he, he just takes off. You're, you're just takes off. <laughs> Boom. Sorry for the there, Some man. birds cannot be caged. You know what I mean? It's pretty back, solid for Living La Vida Loca. Back to the Shawshank. Loca, back to the Shawshank. Okay, but good job. Bonus question answered. This one. To you, Cody. In too deep. In too deep. Bass and life. Okay, so in too deep would be in life when you first start bass fishing and you want to be a bass pro and you're like, I am so into deep right now because my credit card's maxed out, my boat won't start, my truck don't run. That's life. That's okay? it. That's, yeah. In too deep in the fishing world is... When I'm out there and my co-angler, it, I've had this happen. So, okay, so on the west, I'm fishing and I'm dragging a little jig or a drop shot and I'm fishing 70, 80, 90 feet on some of these western lakes. And my guy goes, what? I don't even have that much line on my rod. Right? <laughs> so there, there He's in too deep. It, we're in too deep. Yep. Shouldn't be a co-angler anyway. That's all I exactly. got to say. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, choo-choo snoogin' fatty magoo. Bass fishing and life. Choo choo snoogin, fatty magoo. Well, in fishing, it's the uh, it's it's the spotted bass that weighed ten eighty. That's the only thing to come up with. And yes. in life, it's uh, I think when you drank too much and you're trying to think of some karaoke name or something to call your your, your friend that's giving you a weird look on his on his face. Yeah, the choo choo snoogin, yeah. fatty magoo. It's like jumping. Yeah, exactly. That's that's where I came up with it. At a yeah, you, ki- <laughs> All you know is you don't want to take a woman a woman home with a name like that, okay? No. They're, they're it's like home. a beer it's like a, a, a Jamaican woman with a mustache. Exactly. <laughs> Stay away or at least bring a, a shaver here. Yes, they make yeah. great barbecue, but yes. don't kiss them. <laughs> yeah. Don't kiss them. <laughs> don't kiss them, that's for sure. Yes, that dinner that's good. and then right home. You're doing really good. Okay, <laughs> bass fishing and life. The lucky buffalo. The lucky buffalo. Okay, so in life, the lucky buffalo. This is I'm just gonna combine this one, okay? Because okay, I actually, dear, I actually show. feel like I get a bonus here because I got a lucky buffalo right here. Yes. So this is here's here's the life of the lucky buffalo. So it's gonna be a little bit of a, a lengthy answer here. It's, it's but fine. when my mom was pregnant, she is driving to south dakota my grandpa he was moving there she's driving there she cried the whole way to south dakota and then all the way back until she stopped in cody wyoming thank god my grandpa moved there because my mom and dad were going to name me both cephas really no joke just like both hank cephas. william jr yes they love hank williams jr so hey i was going to be both cephas Meyer. i was going to be kid bro cephas. with the black eyes in school okay so they stopped she stopped crying in cody wyoming and she goes what about if we name him cody and she bought me this buffalo right here. That one right and there. This one, this exact one right here. You can see, boom, this buffalo. So that's the life <laughs> part. So the fishing, years ago, I'm struggling in fishing, okay? And my mom, I played with this buffalo when I was a kid. But I was struggling. I didn't cash a check in a few tournaments, two or three. And she goes, son, you need a lucky buffalo. So I put this thing in my boat, and the rest is history. I, I'm on the show now. Okay, yeah, I mean, there, so I've I've made it. I there, mean, this is the there good it luck is. Star. It got you here. And but true story that she she gave me this thing, and for whatever reason, I've had it in my boat 
for about eight years now, never leaves home. Jason Christie saw it, the real Jason Christie, and he said, hey, <laughs> well, what the heck is that buffalo? And he's an Indian. I mean, this, yeah, this he knows. Cherokee Nation. He knows. And he told me, he goes, you know what, bud? You're all right. You got this. You got the spirit of the bison in your boat. Yeah. So Tonka. Yeah, there and Jason Christie's a badass. You want him on your team, the real Jason Christie. If I'm in a fight with anyone against the world, Jacob Porosnik, I don't care who it is, I want Jason Christie because he doesn't even have to pull his, his, his fist out. He just looks at you with that look. He does. Run yeah. The yeah. Him, and have you ever seen if, like, when him and Hackney, their eyes are like tractor laser beams, so if they meet together – like the tractor laser beam of Greg Hackney <laughs> and, and Jason Christie, that it's just a, it's an unbelievable, unstoppable force. It's like Ghostbusters. It's, yes. We, hey, Kentucky Lake about 10 years ago, I don't know, somewhere. I didn't know Jason Christie. We're at a hotel. And he goes, there, I, we look over, my buddy JR right now, and we look over and we see all these turtles crossing the road. I go, what the heck? I mean, there's no turtles in it California. It was him. Yeah. And, and Christie goes, it's going to rain. We started to laugh and go, what do you mean? Because, yeah, it's, it's going to rain. It's a, it's an Indian, you know, tail or whatever. I'm not joking. Those those turtles crossed the road 30 minutes later. It was down for them. It well, wasn't a cloud in the dang sky. Well, so here's, that guy terrifies me because he gets on the water. He sniffs the air and goes, they're going to eat top water today. And it, it, they eat it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. how do I compete with that? And here, I, ha- I have to tell you this, uh, that, that he was messing with you psychologically. Because I asked him about that. Yes. I did ask him. I did ask him about that, and he's like, I was just messing with Cody Meyer. I want to see if he believed me or not. He didn't even remember really. Yeah. He's just, hey, yeah. I, he, either he knew or he's a dang good guess because it started raining, and hell yes, it messed with my mind. I thought this guy's a bad SOB. You want him on your team. There's no doubt about it. No what doubt. is no the doubt. one two punch in bass fishing and life? The one-two punch would be in life when, gosh, I don't. This is a tricky one. It, it, and fishing, it's going to be when Clint Davis goes up there and goes, boom, boom, last two fish holds up, wins a cup. I, that's all I got because I don't know. In life, <laughs> it is when I'm driving down and I'm listening to Inner Sandman and I go, boom, boom, one-two punch, yeah, baby, we're in here at the lake, we're we're, we're there, we're getting ready to go. And Clint Davis wins the fourth for cup. Uh, there it is right there. Uh, Cody, that was outstanding, dude. Outstanding. And what what I want I want to know from you before we get out of here, if you had one wish for this entire bass fishing galaxy, this world of bass fishing that we live in, what wish would you like to see come to fruition, Cody? I, I want to see this whole thing become – something special something big you know where this is like a football i mean where kids grow up when i was a kid growing up i was made fun of i was picked on because i was a dorky kid that wanted to go bass fishing i want to see this thing where you are the cool kid because you're a bass fisherman it's starting as you're starting to see that with high school but i want to see bass fishing turn into something like where there's a hall of fame football basketball where it's a big big deal yeah, I mean, and, never know. And, for, and, and for real, and for us bass fishing freaks, man, I think that that is coming around the bend, coming. dude. I think we're going to see it. Letterman jackets. I, I, I agree. Yeah, I, think, I agree. I think we're going to see it. Um, you know what else we're going to see here tonight? What's that? Nicole Dorr, bass fishing supermodel, is coming on after you to give away the TH Marine G-Force uh, cull system. Hey, I thought you were going to stick around, and I was going to fire up the Traeger and barbecue a tri-tip. You're going to see that. Oh, yeah. I would. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> why, why not? <laughs> why not? Hey, hey, just that's not even a sponsor plug, but it should be if you're listening, Traeger. Yes. Yeah, see how we were doing that earlier? There it is. There's the, there's the sponsor you're wishing for. But, hey, oh, I want to remind everybody, while we still can, um, like and share the live Facebook feed. Uh, you are moments away from winning the TH Marine. G-Force cull system. Best cull system in the galaxy. Hey, you know what? I, I will say this. With the whole, you know, major league fishing thing, weighing the fish on the boat, stuff like that, if you're not doing that, you're fishing team tournaments or still FLW Tour like me, that cull system is the deal because I can't tell you how many times I catch a bass and there's a big old gnarly just – you guys have all seen it. It's but nasty. The whole oh, hands yeah. Yeah. That cull system is for real – Let's conserve the life of these fish because without the bass, 
we're sitting here and we're talking about CBD not knowing inner salmon. And I don't know it, what yeah, we're talking it's, about. It, but, the whole show would be like, <laughs> would actually make sense if it wasn't for it, bass. It would, yeah. The whole thing would actually be yes. kind of boring, to yeah, be honest. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Worm sinkers. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to get a wig and, and have goldy locks of hair. Yes. And I would, you know, I'd have to change it up a little bit. Yeah, yes. yeah. We could get, you're from California. You could grow it out. You just Well, I could grow it out in the back, maybe, but not in the front. Yeah, it's party in the, it's party <laughs> that works. business in the front, party Ten, in the back. 1090. That's it, maybe. You know what Arkansas I'm saying? Waterfall. That's, we, we can make this happen. That's your new image for the okay. for the new fishing league that might or might not happen. If yeah. if you do or do not go to it, that could be your new image. I like it. Like a wrestler, like bell bottoms, like a like one of those suits like Evil Knievel wore. That's like a unitard, but it's got Cody Meyer on it. Hey, I'll take it, and we already know what Clint's going to be. He's going to be the Hulk, okay? Yeah. Let's just throw that out there. <laughs> There's He's no the doubt Hulk. about it, man. Hey, Cody, always a great time, man, to hang out with you, dude. Hey, you know what? Likewise, huge fan of the show. Uh, I think bass fishing, you know, people need this, man. People need to laugh and have a good time. You guys bring it to everyone. So, uh, huge fan over here, and thanks for having me on again, guys. Dude, our, thanks, our pleasure, and looking forward to having you on soon. And hello to the entire family. Will do. And tell Thank your mom you I got the lucky buffalo in. I got the lucky hey, buffalo. Hey, remember, <laughs> if you see turtles crossing the road, it's going to rain soon. <laughs> <laughs> and if you see buffaloes crossing the road, get the hell out of there. You're, if you see buffaloes crossing the road, you're probably not where bass live because you're in Wyoming or North Dakota, South Dakota. Get Somewhere the hell out of there. Get the hell out of there. <laughs> Cody, thank you so much. Give it up for Cody Meyer, FLW and MLF Dude Pro. Right there. We'll catch you soon, dude. It's Cody Meyer. Yes. Yeah. Always fun stew and giggles dumplings with Cody. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so uh, right now, I guess we're getting ready for the big uh, the big giveaway for the TH Marine G Force power or what is this? Coal system. Coal system. <laughs> Powerful coal system. Power coal system. It's a power yes. coal system. Ladies and gentlemen, here she is, returning from her vacation. The one and only Nicole Dora Bass Fishing Supermodel. <laughs> Woo! Woo! What's up, Nicole? <laughs> What up? Where are you at the drive-in? In my car. Oh, you you're Sonic? in your car. Are you at Sonic's right now? In my car. If you were at Sonic's, what would you order right now? Let's pretend we're at Sonic. Um, a Girl Scout cookie, thin mint milkshake, and some chicken tenders. Wow. I think she knew. It's a tall order. Apparently, this girl's been to Sonic a few times. <laughs> you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. There it yep. is. It's great to see you. We've been we've been away for a while. You've been working behind the scenes, and the and it was so much fun, Pat. Yes, I loved every minute of it. The behind the scenes. Who who do you think recorded all of it? I know. I, I mean, that's what I'm saying. But no, I mean, but don't you like being in front of the scene instead of behind the scene? You know what? I have to play part and part of it. I got to do a little bit of both, but I really enjoy being in front of the scene. Yeah, me, me too. That's it's it's always better that way. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's good for the goose. It's good for the gander. If you know what I'm saying. It's, mm -hmm. it's six and five half dozen of the other. Okay. Yeah, it's not one of these, but That's it's <laughs> one of these. <laughs> yeah, it's one of these. She knows. She's hung around with me enough. She knows yep. what that is. All right, Nikki. Uh, what is going on? What are we giving away? Because I don't even remember what's happening. So, today we are giving away a TH Marine G-Force Coal System. Ooh. Are you saying cool or coal? Whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> I want a cool coal system. Can I get a cool coal system? No, just a coal system. It's just a cool coal system? It's a cool system. It's a cool coal system. From TH Marine, the G-Force... Did Nikki freeze? I think she froze. At least she was smiling. Yeah, it's, it, it froze on an amazing smile picture, though, <laughs> Nikki. This is a, it's a great picture. Why do you have a shoe in your mouth? 
How do I turn this thing? Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sorry. Okay, you're the technologically advanced one behind the scenes. As well as... Well as no, but you, it's a good picture of you up there. I can live with this. I think... Like that. That works. Well, oh, there you are. Nope, that's another picture of you. Oh, there you are. Yeah, you were sticking your tongue out. That was awesome. All right, tell me a joke, Nikki. Okay. Tell me a joke. Um, knock, knock. Who's there? Me. Me who? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Me who? Me? <laughs> Is me who the winner of the, of the G-Force TH Cull Marine system? Is it me who? No, it's Donnie Head Jr. Donnie Head? Donnie Jr. Donnie yeah. Head Jr. Head. Like you got a big head. Donnie Head Jr. is the winner. You should see yeah. how nervous are. Why are you so nervous back there, Andrew? Not what, what, what's it, what is the looks that he's I doing? I can't see him. I only see the stand, top of his eyes. Stand eyelids. up and look at him. Uh, he's got his eyes closed. He's got his eyes closed. In disgust. There could be things happening in his brain right now. <laughs> Nicole, so Donnie Head Jr.? Wait. Don Head Jr. is the winner. Don Head Jr. is Don the winner. Don Head Jr. Don Head Jr. Don Henley Jr. <laughs> is that really the winner, JP? Don Head Jr. is the H -E -A -D? winner. H-E-A-D. Awesome. Head? Nikki, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you, Pat. I appreciate it too. Awesome. We'll uh, we'll see you next week. A amazing job as usual. And get me something from Sonic on the way home. The milkshake. Yes. Milkshake. Yes, please, please. You got it. Thank you so much. That's Nicole Dore, bass fishing supermodel. What do you guys say we do? Just ten more minutes and nothing. What do you think? I do ten more minutes and nothing. Yeah. Let's just do 10 we'll just more. just sit here? Yeah, let's just sit here and in, in standing next to everyone in silent lucidity. Okay, we'll wait for our milkshakes. Yes, we'll wait for our milkshakes from the Cold War Bass Fishing Supermodel. So yeah. the winner of the prize was... Don, Don Head, Head Jr. Don Head Jr. We get, the, we get wild names. We do get wild names. We get wild names. Not to be confused with Don Henley Jr. I'm like, I think there was Larry McNutmore. We had Mc... <laughs> he, he was on once. McNuttington, yeah. yes. Yeah, it was like like McLovin. Yeah, we had one that we couldn't even pronounce. Yeah, but Je they, yeah. Jesse McNutt. Jesse, Jesse McNutt. McNutt. Yes. Yeah, Jesse McNutt. And then, uh, by the way, Britt uh, Myers is is that his name? I don't know what you're talking about. No, the uh, no Cody Britt. Cody Britt, your prize is on its way tomorrow. Uh, then we have another gentleman that won the TH Marine hoodie. That's coming out tomorrow also. Yes. And then uh, and then uh, got got. Uh, Godhead Jr. Don Head, Don Head Jr. Don Head Jr., your prize will be going out uh, tomorrow also. And again, in case you do not know, and I mean this most sincerely, congratulations to our very own J.P. High on making the Wisconsin State team. Yes, sir. J.P. <laughs> Thank you. And let me tell you a little story about this, too. Where are you going? You can't quit. Did you? <laughs> That's it. I'm going home. Yeah. JP actually called it, too. He's Babe Ruth. He pulled a Babe Ruth and said, I'm just going to win this one so I don't have to fish the state championship. And he did. <laughs> I'm just chewing tobacco. This is a true story. Yeah. And we're done. Hey, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Thanks, Pat, for all you do. And a uh, big thanks to our sponsors, Dem Jigs, Bergarney Baits, TH Marine, Alpha Angler, Power Pole, JB Fish Sauce, PH Custom Lures, Shane's Baits, and War Eagle. Thanks, everybody. We're out. <laughs>